First up, let's dive into Burst. I'll go through one key improvement area in detail and touch upon a couple of others. Burst is Info's cloud-based analytics platform. It's an end-to-end -end business intelligence solution with everything from connecting to data to modeling data and presenting the data. CloudSuite Analytics is a pre-built analytics solution with an industry focus. It comes bundled with Info Cloud Suite offerings. It provides organizations with a valuable starting point, offering reports, dashboards, and a data model built using Burst. Now let's focus on the main improvement and it's in notifications. In Burst, a notification is an email containing either a single report or an entire dashboard. These notifications can be sent on a regular schedule or triggered by specific events, and they are delivered to a list of email recipients. Previously, the experience of creating notifications was different across different parts of the platform with different user interfaces. However, we now have resolved this inconsistency whether you're in dashboards, visualizer, designer, or the admin section, the interface looks and feels the same, ensuring a consistent user experience throughout. So what are the benefits of this improvement? Firstly, managing notifications is now easier because it's the same everywhere. This streamlined user experience translates to better adoption, meaning users are more likely to utilize the notifications and save valuable time. Instead of having to log into access a burst dashboard or reports, important information can be conveniently delivered to their email. In general, notifications make it easier and quicker to detect and address any issues, and those benefits are realized when users are actually using the notifications. Next up is conditional alerting. Before, users had to set a schedule for receiving reports, regardless of whether there was anything new to report. However, we now have introduced conditional alerting as part of the notifications. Users can define conditions, and if those conditions are met, an email notification will be sent. This enhancement reduces the number of unnecessary notifications, allowing users to react more quickly and take faster action. Furthermore, we have made it possible to create notifications directly in Visualizer. Previously, you first created the report and then inserted it into a dashboard to be able to create a notification for it. The improvement streamlines the experience, reduces complexity, increases productivity, and facilitates better communication, leading to better adoption again. In all, all of the improvements in notifications will save time and effort for analytics users. Let's take a closer look at how all of this works. To work with notifications, you click on the notification button and the notification screen opens up on the right. If you worked with these before, you see the screen looks slightly different. First, you have the ability to search notifications. Search is not new, but with the new functionality of seeing all your notifications in the same list, you will probably find search to be more useful than before. We have notifications for dashboards, designer, visualizer. Business users see only their own, Admin see everything. If you hover over the notification, you will see a tooltip. Next, we have the space you're in, and it's been added here. Another improvement is the ability to go full screen. Here we can see more details about the actual notification and the toggle on and off. Back to the normal view. You can enable and disable all of your notifications here too. Let's take a look at creating a new one. New feature is when you add email addresses to send the notification to, you get a running total of the recipients you've added, and then addresses appear underneath. We're going to hop over the condition for now and come back to it. Including details is an old thing, but we now can get enhanced information about the status of each instance of the notification. I'll show you an example in a moment. You can also limit the failure notification. If your notification does not work, you'll get an email. If you check the box, only the creator of the notification will get the email. Attachments are not new, but they change depending on where in the platform you are, despite the same look and feel everywhere. We have also added compression. You have two options there. Let's go back to the condition. The alert is set on a schedule, but if your condition is not met, you will not get an email. We have hourly, daily, weekly, and monthly schedules. Hourly is also coming to the schedule-based notifications soon. Then we'll set the actual condition. 
The condition is an independent query. It doesn't need to have any data items from the dashboard. When we create a condition, we'll add context first. In this case, we're going to look at order IDs and if the average discount percentage for the order is too high. And then I'll go to the measure and find discount. I'll take it by the order date and the average. So if the average discount is higher than the number I set, we'll get a notification. And it is checked every hour as per the schedule I defined. You can see the current operators available here. More are coming soon. Let's do a very high number first and validate. The condition validates, but there is nothing that is going to be sent out with the current data we have in this space. I'll change it to 10% and validate again. Now there is data for this condition, and next time the alert is run, we're going to get a report. You can add more conditions, as many as you need. The operators available are AND and OR. In the basic mode, the operator between conditions needs to be the same throughout. If the first is AND, the following operators are also AND. You can see I can't choose the second operator. Advanced Editor is going to be added later most likely in the next release. It allows you to script your conditions and you can use whatever operators you want. To cancel out of the screen, you click the X. And to save, there's an arrow. This will be changed as it is somewhat confusing. The validation is done again when I'm saving the condition. Now let me show you what the notification emails look like. I'm in my email. I have two messages from Burst. The first one, is the notification from the dashboard and you can see the dashboard as an attachment. The second one is the notification about a successful notification having been run. So let's hop over to Visualizer. I have a saved report open and we'll take a look at the notifications here. So first of all, notifications in Visualizer are new. We can see all of the notifications in here but when I'm in Visualizer, I can only toggle the Visualizer notifications. I'll start creating a new one, and you can see we have exactly the same settings as in the dashboard. The email list, the condition, the additional details. There are a few more options in attachments, but otherwise it's the same. From here, we'll go to Designer. I have a saved report open, and I go into Notifications. Again, I have all the notifications, no matter where they are in the list. And I can only toggle the notifications made in Designer. If I create a new one, it's the same process with the same functionality. If you worked with Designer notifications before, you'll notice that we have updated the dark mode. Previously, the boxes where you put in information were white. Now everything is dark. Quick note on report-driven or report-bursting notifications. You can now schedule the bursting also in Designer. Previously, you had to do the scheduling in Admin. If you are interested in report bursting, keep an eye out on our YouTube channel. There will be a how-to video around bursting in the next few weeks. Last thing for notifications is Admin. I'll go to Space Management and Notification. Look and feel is the same as you can see. Full screen mode is here. I can toggle everything on and off. You can create notifications for Designer here in Admin. So the creation looks the same as in Designer. And if I go into Reports, you can see it looks only for Designer Reports, not Visualizer. So that's it for notification improvements. Same look and feel everywhere, conditional alerts now included, and notifications in Visualizer. Next, I'll address a couple of improvements in audit tracking. Audit tracking enables organizations to track changes in their systems. For Burst, we have added audit tracking to scripted sources and saved expressions. By knowing who made the changes and when, you can troubleshoot more efficiently, improve efficiency, and identify potential issues caused by specific individuals. As these are very simple improvements, I'll go through them in screenshots. First, we have the one for saved expressions. I am in Visualizer in BQL expression editor, and I have a saved expression. You can see who changed the expression last and when it happened. Similarly, in modeler and prepare, if I hover over a scripted source, I will see the same information. When it was last modified and who did the modifications. Lastly, we have APIs. 
If you're not familiar with APIs, they serve as a means for programs to communicate with each other. APIs simplify programming and administration tasks. We have introduced new APIs, for example, for executing a query and managing sources. We now provide REST endpoints to have create, read, update and delete operations on scripted, raw data and live access sources. There's no demo on APIs, but we do have a video on the marketplace on how to set up APIs for Burst. Link in the chat.